okay and then you know that what we do here we uh, verify our form okay also we have to add conditions for the car model car color car number so just copy paste this else if three times one two three so now what we can do is we can simply say that first we have the vehicle car model so we can say vehicle model dot text dot trim and we have a method which is is not empty if it is empty okay if the vehicle text editing controllers is empty we will just tell to the user please write your car model similarly the next one comes the car color so it is vehicle color vehicle color is empty so if it is empty then of course the same message that is please write your car color and then the last one is the car number which is vehicle number if it is empty then simply tell to the user number so now if all the form is completed then we can register new user now here we have to basically keep in mind one thing now let me tell you the process how it will work okay we have to make it professional further now when the user choose image fill out the form the user click on sign up okay then first we check the network if the network is available then first here we upload image which is not a good practice for example if the image is uploaded successfully okay and let's say the user leaves some fields empty let's say your password okay password is empty and car model is empty and the user click on sign up then it will upload the image but when it comes here to the form validation then it will stuck here okay it will stuck here and it will ask it will display these messages it will display these messages which simply means that the user will provide password and car model again and the user click on sign up again then it will again upload the image that it will again start uploading the image and then saving the information because here first we are uploading the image if you see here first we are uploading the image then when the image is uploaded successfully then we call our sign up form validation which is not a good practice we have to be more professional that is to write a professional code so we will remove this we do not need to call sign up form validation from here okay what we need to do is we will first as you know here we done the image validation okay this is the image validation so after that remove this from here we will call our sign up form validation that is if the image is selected then call the sign up form validation that is after the image selection we will do the sign up form validation when the sign up form is validated successfully okay when the sign up form is validated successfully then the else statement will execute that is all these conditions stand false okay that is no text field is empty also the image is also not empty which already we checked so the else statement will execute and first here we will upload image to storage okay first we will upload image to storage we will uh, call this method and then cut this from here okay first we will upload image to storage once the image is uploaded to storage which is this method okay once this is executed successfully then we can call our register new user method okay let me move this method down here so you can understand it more easily so let me tell you what we did here first what we do when the user click on the sign up button then first we check the network okay then we do the image validation that is if the image is not equals to null that is if the image is selected 
okay the image validation is done user has to select an image the image is selected then do the form validation that is sign of form validation so we do the sign of form validation here if everything goes okay the else statement will execute so as we have the image so first we upload the image to storage as you can see okay and when the image is uploaded successfully then we register new user that is we call our this register new method register new user method from here okay so then we start uploading the user information which simply means the new driver so we can simply change the name of it to register new driver so this is our register new driver method so here as you can see this is the driver app so we can say drivers a parent node by the name drivers will be created inside the database and inside that let's change the name of it to driver data map just like this okay now the name email phone ID block status and also one more thing which we have is the driver photo so we can say photo so the photo of the driver name email phone of the driver ID and block status of the driver now further information that we need is basically the car information as well so for that purpose we will uh, create here another map which will be driver car info so first we will have car color please use the same key names so that later you do not get confused okay so the car color value is inside the vehicle color dot text dot trim then the other ones also let's copy paste this car model and of course car number and make sure to change this to vehicle model and vehicle number so now here also we have to save the car underscore details and the car details will be over this driver car info that's it okay photo car details name of the driver email phone of the driver ID and block status make sure to use the same key names okay so that later you do not get confused so this is our registered new driver okay and now 